The Lord became my protector. He brought me out to a place of freedom. He saved me because he delighted in me. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Friday of the eighth week of ordinary time. This mass is celebrated for the eternal rest of Ray Sanchez. We ask God's forgiveness and beg our brothers and sisters reconciliation too. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule and that your church may rejoice untroubled in her devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Now will I praise those godly men, our ancestors, each in his own time. But of others, there's no memory. For when they ceased, they ceased. And they are as though they had not lived, they and their children after them. Yet these, are, these also were godly men whose virtues have not been forgotten. Their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. Through God's covenant with them, their family endures, their posterity for their sake. And for all time, their progeny will endure. Their glory will never be blotted out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The The Lord Lord takes takes delight in in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The The Lord Lord takes takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The The Lord Lord takes takes delight delight in his people. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praise of God be in their throats. This is the great, this is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The The Lord Lord takes takes delight in all of his people. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last as the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went, and went into the temple area. He looked around at everything and since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the 12. The next day as they were leaving Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing from a distance a fig tree in leaf, he went over to see if he could find anything on it. When he reached out, it, when he reached it, he found nothing but leaves. It was not the time for figs. And he said to it in reply, may no one ever eat of your fruit again. And his disciples heard it. They came to Jerusalem and on entering the temple area, he began to drive out those selling and buying there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. 
He did not permit anyone to carry anything into, through the temple area. Then he taught them by then, then he taught them saying, "Is it not written, my house shall my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples? But you have made it a den of thieves." The chief priests and scribes came to hear of it and were seeking a way to put him to death. Yet they feared him because the whole crowd was astonished at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. Early in the morning, as they were walking along, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus said to them in reply, Have faith in God. Amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for him. Therefore I tell you, all that you receive, all that I tell you, all that you ask for in prayer, believe that you will receive it, and it shall be yours. When you stand to pray, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Uh, part one and part two. Part one announcement um, in the rear of the church is published the bishop's uh, new guidelines that were effective on, on June the 5th. Uh, so that is worthy of note if you want to spend some time and glance at them. Uh, wonderful. If not, stick around and the priest will explain some of the more, the, the more important or impactful of the, uh, of the changes, etc., uh, and such, and some of them, quite frankly, <laughs> just will not affect us very much at all, or your life <laughs> very much at all, so oftentimes that's the way it goes. We, we pay attention to what we need to pay attention to and not necessarily what we perhaps would be best <laughs> if we paid attention to. Our gospel today is, uh, this is, comes, from the, us from, comes to us from Mark chapter 11. This is three-fourths of the way through Mark. Uh, and such. And if this sounds familiar, the driving out of the, of the money changers, it is. It, and because the Gospel of John has this in chapter 2. Um, uh, John's chapter 2 begins with the wedding of Cana, and then uh, it, uh, it also goes into, uh, it is after the call of the disciples, the wedding of Cana, and then the cleansing of the temple. And in John, John uses the cleansing of the temple to set up the moment of, uh, of antagonizing or antagonization uh, uh, or dispute uh, between Jesus and the leaders uh, of the Jewish people. And that will, as you go through John, it just becomes worse and worse, this antipathy between the two, uh, while all the while these signs are being performed and, and such. Mark has it somewhat different. Mark has it, this is very not too long before Jesus goes up to Jerusalem to suffer his passion. Uh, and here, uh, Mark is pointing out to us a number of things. He's pointing out to us that Jesus is considering uh, uh, looking at Israel metaphorically, but he's also considering his own mortality. Uh, and this is almost a sad scene you would, you would get from some type of a, of, a, of a drama. It says, Jesus entered Jerusalem. He went into the temple area. He looked around at everything, and since it was already late, went out to Bethany with the twelve. It was like he's taken stock of the temple area, and he's looking ahead, and he's realizing that in, uh, the temple will be torn down, and it will be no more. Uh, and likewise, his own mortality, his own body shall be torn down also. Uh, and it's a bit of a sad uh, 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 scene. And he goes out to Bethany, and Bethany's relatively close to Jerusalem. Uh, and, then they, and then this unusual uh, occurrence, or this encounter with this fig tree. Uh, and and uh, Jesus is obviously using this fig tree as a metaphor for uh, Israel, uh, because Israel never got it together with God. <laughs> they never produced fruit in their time. And he goes up to the fig tree, although it's out of season, and he's looking for something, much like the vineyard owner going and looking for produce from the vine, a fruitfulness of the vine, and he sees nothing, so he curses it. Uh, and, and again, an allusion to Israel, the people of Israel, 
uh, 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 being uh, facing a curse uh, brought onto their onto their own heads. And then we have the coming the following day, um, uh, driving out the money changers and insisting that his father's house will be a house of prayer. And, 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 and he teaches, however, the, uh, in this case, the uh, Pharisees uh, and leaders are not confronting him as much as they did in John. And John, they were, they were very insistent to give us signs that you, are, you have authority to do this. Uh, they're still angered, uh, but they dare not, uh, uh, they dare not uh, counter Jesus or uh, confront him or uh, try to drive him and his followers uh, out. Um, and then we hear that uh, uh, they, 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 it becomes apparent that the fig tree that has been cursed uh, withers, and it is also apparent that Israel uh, will wither too, uh, their faith, uh, because of the of the lack uh, of, of faithfulness to God because of their uh, unwillingness to produce uh, according to God's plan for them, uh, they too will wither and, and, further, and further we have the, uh, uh, the very strong statement that he says uh, about faith. Uh, Whoever says to the mountain, be lifted up, thrown into the sea, who does not doubt in his heart, believes and believes, it shall be done for him. Ask whatever you want in prayer and believe and, it, and re you will receive it. It shall be yours. Uh, and, and you know, it's true that is, uh, there's a saying in Spanish that goes, that goes uh, querer es poder, to want is power. <laughs> and in one sense, Jesus is saying, when you pray, pray into what you want. Pray into the issue. Uh, don't be afraid to take something that is uh, the elephant in the house. Don't be afraid to bring that to prayer uh, because if you believe uh, our Lord, he will give you an answer, not only an answer, but a, a, a resolute answer, a sure answer, a, even if it is a earth-shattering, ground-shaking answer. May we have the courage to pray as Jesus requests that we do. My brothers and sisters, we bring our needs before God's altar. We pray for, we pray for continued renewal and purification. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those who suffer lackings of food, clothing, and shelter. We ask that our hands may be the hands of Jesus in providing relief. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our Lord may bless those in holy matrimony, that he may grant them the grace of compassion, understanding, and closeness. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill, who are suffering. May our Lord give them strength. May our Lord give them healing. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, May they find joy in the presence of our Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the souls of pur in purgatory. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O compassionate Father, we beg you to look up with favor upon our petitions and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. We may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblation as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy that what you grant us as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me, sing psalms to the name of the Lord Most High.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament which with, the, with which you feed us in the present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder that next Friday we will have Mass at 6 p.m. and at 5 p.m. we'll have Sacred Heart Devotion. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen.